Hey guys, what's going on? So this is Josh with TechZone UK, and in this video I want to show you how you can get around the error that you're, you're seeing on your screen right now, where basically um, when you use BitLocker encryption, it has to use something called a TPM uh, chip, I think it's TPM, probably getting in the wrong order, um, but basically what that is is a chip on the motherboard where it actually stores the encryption um, for, that file, uh, for the um, actual uh, encryption of the hard drive. Now, if your um, motherboard doesn't actually have this chip, then by default, BitLocker is set not to um, allow you to actually um, encrypt your hard drive. And I want to show you how you can actually get around that so you can still encrypt your hard drive without having this chip. So it's probably going to be quite a quick video, so let's take a look at how to do it. What you need to do is come down to Start here, and you need to type in GP Edit. Now, GP stands for Group Policy. Uh, so Group Policy Edit, then do MSC. Um, and then as you can see it says GP edit now this is only available um, in Windows 7 uh, professional ultimate um, and enterprise so once you've got that just click on it and what you need to do is expand this a little and go to um, administrative templates go to Windows components then come down to where it says um, where are you? Uh, BitLocker drive encryption. Expand that, and then click on Removable drive. Uh, 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 sorry, Operating System drives. And then when you clicked on that, you'll see it says Require additional authentication at startup. So all we do is double click this, and here we just check Enable and make sure that Allow BitLocker without compatible without compatible TPM um, is is enabled. Uh, click apply and click OK and now when you go to your C drive to um, set up BitLocker you should see that it goes straight through um, and set and sets it up so um, as you can see it has require a startup key on every startup um, sometimes it doesn't need this recovery uh, this um, key um, I mean I, I did it on my laptop today and that's where I found out how to actually do it and it said that I could either create a startup key um, or save the file to um, a memory stick so I didn't actually have to do a, a startup key here um, but if you want an extra level of security uh, it could be quite cool to be able to have uh, the key on your memory stick so you have to plug in your memory stick every time you want to boot because then obviously if someone steals your um, your laptop they're going to have to have your memory stick and if it's on your keys then the chances of them being together are very slim so um, anyway that's how you can set up BitLocker drive encryption without having to have the TPM chip on your motherboard um, and if obviously having that extra layer of encryption is very very good so um, thank you very much for watching uh, if you enjoyed this video uh, give it a like if you want to see more from my channel then uh, press that subscribe button down below this video and if you want to um, give me some feedback or um, need any help or comment or whatever, like I said, just drop a comment below and um, I'll try my best to get back to you. Um, I appreciate all sort of feedback, so please do. Um, and I, until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.